We are creating the skimmers on Google SketchUp. First thing we need to do is create a rectangle for the base. So if you click rectangle, go right here to the origin, click and release, and then drag it. And then down here at the bottom right where the dimensions are, we're going to go ahead and just type in. We don't have to hit backspace, delete, or anything like that. Just go ahead and start typing three, don't forget your inches, comma, 11 inches. Enter. Okay. This It's nice to have this guy because he brings it to scale to see how big this actually is. So now we're going to go ahead and um, create the sides. Click here. Um, make sure there's it's on the blue axis points. Make this half an inch. Enter. And then you want to be on the green axis. Go 11 inches. And then take it up to the end point. Next, you'll rotate. Grab your pencil tool again. Find the end point. Go down on the blue axis. One divided by two inches. Find the green axis point. Go 11 inches and then back up to the top. Next, we're gonna create our fins. And our fins are a three by three um, height and length, and then we have the two half inch sides, and then we'll connect it uh, down through the middle. So uh, we're gonna start at the end point, and we're gonna go this direction. Um, we wanna make sure we're on the edge. We type in three inches and enter. Now you're not able to see the line, but if you go so you see an endpoint that is your that is your three inch. If you look down at the bottom right where the dimensions are, it tells you what your length is. So just to double check that, um, click right there, and you want to go up. Make sure that this is a blue line when you go up. Next, take this endpoint down here at the bottom. You're going to go up three inches. Make sure you're on the blue axis point. Okay. From here, the one problem that we get sometimes is people choose the red axis, which allows it to go uh, in a direction we don't want to go. We want to stay along the green axis. So here we want to make this uh, half an inch. And then we want to connect from here to this corner, and it will do that. We will rotate this. Hit the rotate button. We'll rotate this so that we can get to this side and create a wing on this side as well, or a fin. Same thing, go to the end point, go three inches, find that. Okay, if you look down at the bottom, it says three inches, so we're good to go. Make sure we go up and we're on the blue axis. Just go all the way to the edge or half an inch, your choice. Uh, go back to the end point here on the corner. You can go up and go as high as you want as long as you're on the blue axis type in three inches and then again you don't want to be on the red but you do want to be on the green axis for half an inch and then bring it down here to the bottom all right so now we have created that we are now going to do the bend on the back first thing we want to do Again, is grab the pencil tool okay click from one side of the fin to the other and then we're going to do two finger double click that will allow you to erase that face and then we also want to do the same thing to this line erase the line um, make sure you're still on the writing tool you will go from this endpoint down to this corner and you're going to do the same thing on the other side Let's go ahead and rotate it. Okay. Go back to your pin tool here to the corner. And then from those two from that corner, we're gonna go to the other corner and we should get that right there. Okay. All 
All right, so we have our slope. Okay. Now we want to go underneath this, and we're going to create the um, the scoop. So if you zoom in a little bit, um, you go right here to this endpoint. <clears throat> go down and you want to go down it doesn't matter how far down you go as long as you're on the blue um, the blue axis but we're going to go ahead and type in one divided by eight inches and enter okay again you can't see it but it's on there and it shows your length down there at the bottom um, so then go ahead and do the same thing on the top but you're going to go back to the on the back edge choose three inches okay and then you're gonna find where that is you're gonna go down make sure you're you have a blue line on you know, a blue axis and you're gonna choose three eighths and then take this back up to the one eighth a lot of people make the mistake of going back to the end point but the corner piece but we want to go to where we had the one eighth okay Okay, next we'll rotate this, and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Click on this point, go all the way down, make sure there's a blue line. We're going to go 1 8. And then we're going to go back this direction on the edge, go 3 8 inches. And find, oh, nope, I lied about that. So we're going to undo that one. Okay, we're going to go back, sorry, three inches. And then find that endpoint. Make sure it's on the blue axis. We're going to go three eighths this time. Inches. And then take it back up to, again, not this point, but the one where we put the one eighth. Uh, then you'll connect this bottom piece to this bottom. Hit escape so it uh, releases the, the pin. Click here to there. And then last thing we need to do is um, two finger click. Erase that area. And the skimmer is finished. Now a few finishing touches that we want to do is go to select tool, click on these edges, choose hide on all the pieces that we don't need. So let's go through and hide them. And even this top piece right here. Almost finished, and then we'll go and color the design. Okay, so now it's ready for color. And remember, if you um, lose sight of where things are, you can always hit that home button. It makes it a little bit easier to find it. Okay, trying to find a, a good angle, and then we will now color, which you just click right here, and all of this shows up. You can go down to uh, colors, and you will have multiple colors to go off of. Um, you can do different textures. Um, you can do anything you want. All you basically have to do is just click on a color like green, okay, and then you just click on what you want it to be green.